I'll be talking about polycystic ovarian syndrome and it occurs when your ovaries stop functioning as they should before the age of 40 which is supposed to be the menopause period the ovaries doesn't produce the amount of estrogen hormone it needs for menstruation to happen about 81 percent of of um, my followers responded and about 20 or 21 um, said that they can't relate when I put a poll on my Instagram. Yeah, I'm very fortunate that I'm under treatment. The changes really affected my self-esteem, you know, and the fact that I'm a fitness enthusiast, I've been putting fitness out there on my page. There was something that happened um, recently. I posted a video of me just going back to the gym and educating people how to you know get their leg day somebody came and said something really nasty on my comment somebody just said look at your tummy this girl you fell off but it's never too late with laughing emoji and then i just responded yeah i've been battling hormonal imbalance pcos in brackets thanks for pointing it out there's nothing wrong in coming to my dm and telling me like oh my gosh like wow like you really changed you know what happened there's nothing wrong in bringing like you just treat people with respect and good thing like i that i got over my depressing state like because last year i gave up on my fitness career like my fitness life like totally i had to like show up and show my strength side or show my strong part of myself to the world i didn't want everybody to know that oh this is what is going on with her you know, nobody wants to be a member of the pity party everybody just wants to see the good side nobody cares about the bad side because some people will sit and laugh or some will just use it to write it like oh my gosh so wow so with like with everything so this is what is going on you don't know what happened or why the person fell off so you don't just come and say some nasty things in someone's comment section like a lot of ladies when i reposted it like a lot of beautiful amazing ladies reached out and they told me not to make that like like i should even like i was never supposed to respond to this person or or explain myself to this person that like, it wasn't worth it can you tell me about the history of your irregular period i noticed this irregular um cycle when i was very young and i was about the age of 14. i used to have this mindset in our biology class they taught us that the women period has a cycle of 28 days to 31 days but when i started counting mine today is going to be about 32 days tomorrow is going to be about 34 days and sometimes i don't even see it for a month or two or three months so when i noticed that i i was actually young so i told my mom what my mom said was uh i hope you're not pregnant you know if you know you're pregnant you're going to sleep under the bridge if your father finds out you know those kind of um african christian mother you know kind of talk you know and at that period of time i wasn't even sexually active so i was i wasn't so scared because i got to hate my my menstruation or my period um that's the time it comes out so the period i didn't see my period or it sees i was so relieved and happy not knowing that there were other you know um will i say there were other um consequences to not seeing it or there were other things tied to it being absent or irregular i went to the hospital when i told the doctor about what happened about me not seeing my period they just asked me about my um sexual activity and i told her i'm not sexually active at this point in time i would say a virgin because i mean i was actually i was relatively young she had to suggest um hormonal tests and pelvic exams and when i heard the prize I was astonished i knew that it wasn't going to happen the amount was so high that when i told my parents about it they were like ah don't worry god will heal you just keep on praying and you know stay away from fornication you know how the talk um gets to be so what i did was um i went to the pharmacy and i explained to the pharmacist what was going on the pharmacist suggested that it was amenorrhea that i had amenorrhea is a case whereby the woman doesn't see her period for a number of time or for a month two months so there's primary and secondary amenorrhea but i'm not going to go into detail so he gave me a pill called gynecosy cheaper than you know me going for those exams and i felt nothing was wrong with me because i don't think i have anything genetically related to ovarian cancer or anything like that so 
I've been taking um, this pill, but at a point in time, I just had to ask myself that me taking this pill anytime you see it for about three months is not a solution to my problem. That I need to know what is going on, not just about taking a drug for it to recycle my for it to recycle my period or anything. What symptoms made you certain something was wrong? <laughs> my goodness. As of last year, I gained 10 kg. I used to be, I, I used to weigh about 65 kg. All of a sudden, my period ceased for four months last year, and automatically I started adding, adding weights. I noticed I was bloating easily, and I used to be a fitness enthusiast. Like I can, I'll put my, I'll put some of my video clip on, you know, my Instagram. I, I'm actually like a fitness enthusiast my instagram is always about fitness all of a sudden i started gaining weight and it was actually affecting my self-esteem i started having um hot flashes i just noticed that um in the morning when i get to work most time or before going to work like my body gets really hot i get to have like red like red spots on my skin like i'm in a very hot weather and my grains oh my goodness like i've i can't I can recall how many times i was rude to my uber driver just because i was trying to tell him to put off the radio when like that screeching sound gets to me it irks me i was so irritated anytime i hear um music really loud or you know those screeching sound or this radio um you know signals having stiff neck like every time i get to snap my neck and it makes this sound like it's really stiff i was depressed because I, I just knew that something was wrong anytime i sleep at night i i get to sweat like i sweat a lot while i while i'm asleep we call it nice sweat so i get to like ex like um release a lot of sweat at night even when um the temperature is like really cool you know mood changes I'm always really cranky in the morning i was like i was cranky in the morning and i didn't even know how like why or why that was happening let's believe that we're all sexually active and you know i just know that like i get to like i get to experience much more efforts in getting to that space or getting to that um lubricated area of my activity and the next one was irritability and difficulty concentrating like i said i was always very cranky so um focusing was actually a problem for me so i was just having emotional distress and you know all this acne i was having like chin hair i was breaking out i was just so so not like the same just because of hormonal imbalance i did my research on what to take to try to recycle my period and uh, what i got when i did a lot of research i asked my auntie i asked my mom like what are the things i can take that can help me with my period because i expected to have that my body was really really like I wasn't feeling so good I got soya bean powder i was drinking it like milk and i observed that once i take it the hot the hot flashes those symptoms get to subside for that period of time and after a while it gets to start over again i had to make sometimes soya beans powder with cinnamon and turmeric and moringa powder so i just mix the whole um um ingredients together and sieve it i add milk and honey so that i can drink it so it was actually helping me for the sh for a short period of time but that wasn't like it wasn't the permanent solution to it but i knew that there is something that still can be done that you know i just got tired of waking up in the morning before going to work to boil all this or when i come back from work i get to you know prepare this drink i store it in the freezer i take it to work and i drink people see me thinking that i'm um, just enjoying my life i'm just drinking you know i'm taking care of myself in the morning not knowing that those things were actually remedied to help um those symptoms i was having to go to the hospital to be honest i had to just go to the hospital i was just tired of these things i knew that there should be a permanent solution to this so the third question is how did you react when you were first diagnosed to be honest I remember when I was in the examination um, room with the doctor, he asked me some questions. At first, I just told him that I was having se severe migraine, that my neck is really heavy, stiff neck, and I'm having, you know, spots on my chest. That was why I explained to him that, I don't know, maybe it was the coffee I was taking, which I had to stop, that caused it. But if you can help me with um, something, that was just why I told him. I didn't like, go into detail. Then he asked me, okay, you're having all these um, 
when was the last time you saw your period i had to like think back to the last time i saw my period he conducted the malaria test and pregnancy test those were the two he conducted so after the test came out they were both negative and he told me that okay i have to take um i have to see the um doctor that is in charge of ultrasound that was what he said then i said okay no problem i did an ultrasound and the doctor told me my body is not producing follicle in my ovaries anymore so he asked me if i was married i told him no i wasn't married i wasn't ready for child bearing like i told him that no i'm not ready to have kids yet he told me why that i need to try to make it one of my major plan before i'm 30. that was what he said i was like okay why <sighs> then he said that um right now my ovaries are not functioning properly but this is treatable that was what he said um having kids before the age of 30 because from 30 childbearing becomes a bit complicated and after the ultrasound um you know the whole chit chat he told me i have to perform hormonal tests my blood was taken out for the hormonal test and when it came out um they performed the um, follicle stimulating hormone test um luteinizing hormone right yeah luteinizing hormone thyroid and progesterone test he asked me if i was on birth control because i told him that i've never had any birth control pill except the morning pill you know when when i have to you know take it after the test came about i saw i saw a nurse and she recommended progesterone injection yes which um which i which i have to take for three months and i took the first um, injection dose on the 12th of November I took the second one on the 12th of December and I took the third one on the um, 12th of January yeah I took it on the 12th of the January then she gave me this overcare tablet I'm going to put the image on this video overcare tablets which is really really good it's so the supplement is very nice even while your period is good for you to even take it she gave me vitamin e nature fields um, um tablet as well she told me to to get these um pills geez this this pill is actually expensive i got it for about twenty thousand five hundred. like this is so nice it's actually very good for the hormones and the ovary you know it helps with um healthy um, menstrual cycle and it also supports um sperm health in men so it's good for men it's good for women you know this supplement i had to buy and they've been helpful i've not been having um the hot flashes i've not been having the migraines i've not been having the depression and, and anxiety like i used to like it has dropped <laughs> gosh like how like it helped me because i mean i've been thinking of how i'll continue to drink all these um how about things for a long period of time but thank god i had to like reach out for help in the light of your experience with pcos is there any advice you would give you would give to your younger self i'm glad i paid attention to myself and it wasn't too late keep record of your menstrual cycle and any other symptoms symptoms you're having during that period keep record of them and you know so that you can be prepared and give the accurate information when you have um uh, in medical attention you know you won't leave some symptoms out that are really necessary for you to communicate with your doctor when you are menstruating everything is connected everything is working fine your hormones are balanced everything is you know good so i'll tell my younger self to just stay from stress try to be happy pay attention to your body love yourself love your body like you should love things that interest you love your body like you should love your loved ones yes because if you don't love your body and things go wrong nobody will understand you like you will understand yourself treat everybody with respect treat everyone with love um i know a lot of people that are going through something worse than this you know they are going through something as terrible as ovarian cancer going through pelvic cancer going through fibroids and um tumors if you have to lose some weight you know which i had to do at, at the point exercise well eat good i'm not saying you should skip food but please eat good take fruit take your supplements um track your menstrual cycle um love yourself do things that that you love stay away from stress 
and um, take care of yourself. Love you girls. Bye.